Hello and today we are installing Fedora in a virtual machine, specifically VirtualBox. And if you're wondering why the heck is Rufus here, that's because uh, I was trying to show you how to make a bootable USB as well. But I just wondered if you are watching this video, then you probably know how to do that. And uh, if the VirtualBox install and the main install is basically the same and most things are similar. So uh, I'll just show you how to install it in a virtual machine and that's really simple. So let's just get into it. So the first thing we need to do is fire up the virtual box. And I'm using virtual box because it's free, high performance and it's open source. So everything you use here is free. So then uh, once we have this open, what we have to do is create new. Uh, it's really simple to actually create a virtual machine in virtual box. And if you're using the latest version, uh, you can actually just name the project or name the virtual box and it will automatically detect what you are typing and as you can see the version is already selected and everything here is selected then we will select the iso and just select it where you downloaded it and i just selected this because i already tested this and uh, if you are wondering how to do it if another location just do here and just find where the iso is and that's basically how you uh, insert it and by doing this you are essentially just uh, saying the virtual machine well this is the iso we want to use and this is the same as inserting a pen drive in your main machine so make sure you do all of this correctly and as you can see it is automatically detecting everything so then you select how much ram you want i usually go with 8 gigabytes but for this you don't, I don't think I need that much and this many cores is just fine and again just make sure you have enough resources to run this properly and just select the disk drive and make sure that you have enough so you can install it and other softwares if you require it then just go next and then install and this will give you a preview of uh, what you are actually doing so make sure to check if everything is all right and most things are changeable so if you do make a mistake it's not groundbreaking because again this is the virtual machine and if every, anything goes wrong uh, you can just clear it out and do it again and now we just wait for it to boot up now the neat thing about fedora is it is an in-between uh, of uh, debian and arc and what i mean by that is uh, Debian usually has a more stable system and the drawback to that is that it is a little bit older because if you don't know um, in most cases the older things have a more stability because they have been maintained for a longer time but uh, in Arc it will give you the bleeding edge software but it is a bit unstable and if you don't know what you're doing Arc is not recommended. But Fedora, on the other hand, is kind of like the in-between. It will give you uh, the Arc-like software, like not that latest, but not too far off. Maybe uh, one or two updates behind, but the stability of Debian as well. So once you are here, just install to hard drive. And then uh, Fedora is actually a really good system because the installation is fairly simple like you will almost have a guided install Like it will guide you through so you select the uh, Language then your installation destination and once you're here you need to select what hard drive you are using So if you have separate hard drive for this you can just select it from here And as for dual boot like if you want to make it me to make a video on that please let me know in the comments but other than that it's really simple like you can do manual configuration as well as custom configuration so if you want to configure this yourself and then just back out of it and there we go everything is set and so once we click this it will begin installing and we will have a federal system and it's actually that simple and if you have ever installed Arc, you know how difficult that is. Even if you use the uh, Arc install command, it's still fairly difficult to install Arc. So, 
uh, here it's done down installing and now we can continue on with this video and as you can see it's really hassle free to install fedora and it's fairly simple to do so and once you have done installing it uh, then you just have to reboot and boot into your installed system now there may be an issue if you're using virtualbox while doing this is that uh, it will boot into the iso again as you will see <laughs> here and you can see that it actually booted into the iso again and we don't want this we don't want this to pop up every time we uh, boot into a machine and there is no way of actually just bypassing this and so uh, we'll just remove the iso it's like unplugging your pen drive so let's go to settings and then storage and you, you will find the ISO right here just uh, you can tick this but just remove this and it's fine because that one is just a disk file and once you've done that you just do okay and it should be fine and remember it's not <laughs> like it will not destroy your system because the that we remove is an ISO or a disk image file so now if you boot it, it will boot directly from our virtual hard drive. And if all this seem a bit complicated, well it shouldn't, but if it does, uh, don't worry about it. It's fairly simple. A virtual hard drive is basically just a hard, hard disk that has been virtualized into a piece, a section where you will just use it. Well, there we go. So now we have a system and as you can see it's welcoming us fedora welcome to fedora thank you and i will just turn this off then skip this and then here it will ask for your username and password so there we go and then you just have to set your password and i just set a really simple password just to show you and after it's done now we have a complete system so <laughs> as you can see it's a little bit smaller and it is using the GNOME 43 desktop environment so uh, if you are wondering why the heck is uh, the dock missing that's because it does not come with the test to dock and if you are using another version I don't know if it does come with that but I don't think in this version it does so let me just change some of the things but you can uh, check the documentation on the dash to dock page or you can check uh, the video I have on that uh, it is with Arc Linux but I think the commands are not too far off again you should you can just check the documentation I'll link it below if you need it so there we go that's basically how you install Fedora Linux in a virtual machine and if you followed the steps properly you can also install this in a uh, clean install clean uh, i forgot where was what i was supposed to say but anyway that's basically how you install fedora i hope you guys are I hope you guys installed it properly and hope nothing went wrong so, so if everything is well and if you like this video and subscribe and leave a comment if this helped you at all